Hey guys, what's up? This is Mel, and I'm here to talk about The Walking Dead, this time episode 603, titled Thank You, which premiered Sunday, October 25th, 2015. And guys, I really don't know what to say. This, I was not expecting this episode at all. No way was I expecting it. So before I get into it, just a reminder that if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it first, because... I'm going to be spoiling the hell out of it in this video. So go check out the episode first and then come back to see what I thought about it or how I reacted to it. And also, just a reminder as well, for when it comes to Walking Dead, I've only seen the TV show. I have not read the comics. So I have no previous knowledge or interpretation of how this show could go. So it really is a clean slate for me wherever I see a new episode. So with that said, let me just start my 10 minute timer and let's begin. So what is something new that we learned in this episode? So basically this episode picks up, picks up where the present day of 601 ended. And that's with the blaring and the horn. We even see, and so it focuses on Rick's group, which includes Rick, Sean, Glenn, Daryl, Sasha, Abraham, and a whole bunch of Alexandrians who were dealing with the mega herd when they were trying to get it away from town. So this episode deals with them reacting to hearing the horn coming back from Alexandria. So Abraham, Sasha, and Daryl are still leading the herd with their car, but because of the horn, Daryl leaves at some point, which is another thing that I learned at some point, but he does meet back up with Abraham and Sasha deciding to turn around. So there's that. But that leaves Rick, Glenn, Michonne, and the other Alexandrians to try to rush back home to see what's going on. Eventually, they break off, Rick going back to get an RV for them to try to lead parts of the straying herd back on track, I think it was, while Michonne and Glenn are meant to bring everybody back. But then afterwards, Glenn splits off with Nicholas to try to create a diversion for the straying walkers that were heading to town. And there were a lot of deaths in this episode. I mean, it's expected with it being The Walking Dead, but my most shocking moment for the episode has to be the Gleth, bleh, I can't speak, would have to be the death of Glenn. And it was again because of Nicholas. I mean, in the season finale last year, we saw them f Nicholas fighting with Glenn and shooting him and also putting him in a situation where we thought Glenn could die, but since nothing happened on screen, we were left to hope that he'd survive. Thankfully, he did. It wasn't the case this time. This episode, Nicholas decides to shoot himself. And because Glenn was holding on to him, when Nicholas's body falls, Glenn falls with him into a crowd of walkers. And with a close-up, it very well looks like his, Rick... Not Rick. Glenn's guts are being ripped out of him. And that is just... That's just horrible. I mean, Glenn was one of my favorite characters, and to see him go, I mean, I was not prepared for this whatsoever. Again, not a comic book reader, but apparently he's dead in the comics at this point, so I don't know. Spoiler on that, too. Kind of late for that. But, yeah, usually I'm more prepared for a death in the mid-season finale or the finale, but not three episodes in. It just... Nah, I don't even know. So with that said, what were my top three favorite moments of the episode? Um, I really liked the heated debates between Michonne and Heath. I really liked how he tried to make her see that he did understand what was at stake. But then Michonne argued very correctly to, or very well, or very on the point, I should say, that he, by pointing out that he does not know what it's like to, to be out among the walkers. He may be a runner, but he doesn't. He has not had. He has not experienced fighting among the walkers, losing your own, and being covered in bloods like blood, and not knowing who's is whose and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just I really like the intensity in that scene, and I really like that she finally told him off when he kept making all these jabbing remarks about uh, how their group is not there to protect them and stuff like that. I just I just like that. Okay, second one. Now, my second favorite part was Glenn telling Rick over the radio, good luck, dumbass. Now, 
Hear me out. In the moment when it happened, I thought it was funny. The fact that Rick was called Rick was being called a dumbass by a very by someone he calls he considers family. I just thought it was funny. But then when Glenn died and when it went to commercial, my brother, also a fan, calls me and asks if I knew Glenn was going to die. I didn't. Because, well, I don't really... I try to stay away from spoilers when it comes to The Walking Dead and being not a comic reader of it, that I'm clear from all that. So Glenn's death was a big shocker to me. So, so anyways, my brother knew from Glenn saying good luck dumbass to Rick he knew from that moment that Glenn was going to die because apparently that was the very, that was the very first thing that, that was said between Glenn and Rick all the way back in season one when they met. And it was done over the radio too. And because of that, I guess because of that uh, parallel, that was my brother's um, light bulb moment that, oh, Glenn's going to die. It's like, I guess now looking back on it, then that should have been an indicator. I usually have a way of figuring out what might happen within an episode for other shows, but Walking Dead, this one just like threw me off because apparently anyone can go. No one is safe, at least with my other shows. I know like certain characters are safe because of the fact that it revolves, the show revolves around their character. But in The Walking Dead, Walking Dead, sorry, um, the story focuses on a lot of characters and that means that we could lose a lot of them too, which we've seen many times already. So I'm just going to stop. I'm going off on a tangent here. Third favorite moment has to be Rick's speech over the radio to Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha when he's waiting in the RV. Um, he's talking about finishing the mission for, for the Alexandrians and not doing the mission for themselves because if they were doing the mission for themselves, then they would have bailed at one point. Or something along those lines. And I definitely liked Rick's concern over Glenn and Michonne before they, they split off in the woods. Rick definitely showed that no matter what, he wants Glenn and Michonne to get back home. Even if it means leaving behind those that um, slow them down. He really wanted those two, his family, to come home. And apparently that won't happen now. So on to peeved moments, top peeved moments. First one, I'm very glad that Nicholas is dead. I wanted him dead when he was the reason Noah was killed. But I am absolutely furious that his death resulted in Glenn dying too. Glenn was giving him a second chance. Glenn was trying to fight for his survival and for Nicholas's survival. And what does Nicholas do? He kills himself. And then his body falls on Glenn. And they both go over the dumpster putting Glenn in a very, very, very bad situation, which is pretty sure he's dead. It's like 95% sure that he's dead, 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 sorry, based on what we saw. That's just, that's really irritating for me. I, like I said, I like Glenn. So next P moment, I have many, I have mixed emotions about Daryl deviating from the mission. He was supposed to ride and lead the motor, um, lead the walkers out on his motorcycle. But then he turns around, or he decides to go ahead and turn around to go back to Alexandria. But then he decides to come back around and meet back up and do his original mission. On the one hand, I like that Daryl wanted to go back and save his people that were left at, in Alexandria. But then I'm kind of disappointed that Daryl would flake on his responsibility in regards to the mission. So it's a mixed motions there. Uh, third peeved moment, third peeved moment, sorry, I cannot speak right now, um, would have to be Rick getting attacked by the surviving wolves that Morgan had let go in the previous episode. I mean, that not only did that irritate me, and thankfully Rick got rid of all of them, but that is just further proof that if you let your attacker go free, then they will come back and bite you in the butt later on. And in this case, in this case, Morgan's mistake in letting those wolves go came back to bite Rick in the butt because Rick had to shoot them all down and those gunshots drew all the surrounding walkers to him. So now Rick is stuck in a stalled RV. So it's not really looking good for him. And I think when he saw the apple, uh, the, the baby food in the, the dead wolf's pocket, I think it, it really clicked into him that the wolves were the ones that attacked home 
tact to play as far as family was not just the people he's grew, he's grown close to, but his own kids are there. So I guess that's where his defeated look comes in. What will I remember most about this episode? What will I re- be reminded about? Glenn's death, no doubt. It's really hard to think of anything else aside from Glenn's death at this point. It's, uh, I'm still not over it. Even after watching Talking Dead just now, I am not over Glenn's death at all. So, um, let's get to random questions. Um, like I said, not a comic book reader, but according to the comics, Glenn does die at this point in the story. But since the TV show does deviate from the comics in certain aspects, I believe Daryl is not even a character in the comics. But with that said, I'm left wondering if Glenn is really dead. I'm 90% sure that Glenn is dead. But the last 5% of me truly hopes that he's not. I mean, I really like Glenn, like I said, and I don't want him to go, but that 5% is going for any possible way for Glenn to get out of something like that. And there goes my timer. So, I guess my question is, if that, if that was possible, what could be a plausible way for Glenn to still be alive after what we saw? Um, second question, the only way Rick can get out of the RV that is swarmed with walkers at this point is if he managed to get the engine going again. But So my question is, if that doesn't work, what could Rick's plan be to escape B? So I don't think he can take on all the walkers by himself. And he can't stay in that RV forever and hope that someone is going to come to help him. So how is Rick going to get out of this one? So moving on to predictions. Um, Thanks to the brief promo we got at the end for the next episode, which apparently is going to be 90 minutes long. And based on the sneak peek that we got on Talking Dead, if you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's pretty good. Um, basically, we're going to see some Morgan-centric stuff from the looks of it. Possibly flashbacks of his time uh, on the road by himself as he tries to find Rick. I think we might see how he became the bow staff-wielding person he is now. And maybe how he went from being insane to being semi-sane. Can he be called sane? Or I guess he can, we can call him zen from being insane to being zen. I guess we might see that journey. It might resemble something of how we saw in the last episode how Enid had ended up in Alexandria. So we might get that kind of a flashback, but in the ca- in this case for Morgan. Um, another prediction, solely for me, is Maggie's reaction to Glenn's death. I really don't know how she's going to take it. don't even know if she's going to get that news in the next episode or not. But my brother, again thinks that she may commit suicide, but I truly hope he's wrong because Lauren Cohen, the actress of Maggie, is amazing. Love her. I first saw her on Supernatural as Bella Talbot in season three, then on Vampire Diaries as Rose in season two, and now as Maggie. I mean, her being Maggie is kind of what had me interested in watching The Walking Dead. It's usually the case for me. There's always has to be a familiar face for me in a show in order for me to um, see it through or willing to start at the beginning and binge watch it. So with that said, um, I really like Lauren Cohen as Maggie and I really hope that Maggie doesn't die, but it does make sense why she would commit her, commit suicide. She uh, lost her father, she lost her family home, she lost her sister. And she was struggling to come back from that. And then now she lost Glenn. So I don't know how much heartbreak Maggie could take. I mean, there's only so much heartbreak a person can take until you can't come back from it. So it's Maggie's reaction is going to be a tough one to see. Uh, Another prediction, there's got to be a reunion of the groups of some sort. And they're going to have to come and learn the bad news of about Glenn. Don't know when that's going to happen, because with The Walking Dead, unlike other shows, um, the way time passes in The Walking Dead is very differently from other shows, which usually go week by week, or they actually show a few days within an episode. So, I don't know. But that's all I'm going to say about episode 603. What did you guys think of the episode? Was Glenn's death a surprise for you, or did you see it coming? Um... 
Uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Maybe even what your alternative ending could have been like. Because as a fan fiction reader, I'm definitely going to try to see if someone wrote a different ending where Glenn survives. So I'm definitely going to look for those. Um, so, you know the drill. If you like, please like this video if you liked it. Don't put a thumbs down if like you didn't like what I had to say. You just don't have to vote if you don't like it. Um, but if you like the video, if you like like the format, or if you just like what I have to say, either way, truly appreciate it, and I'm losing my voice now. Great. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with other Walking Dead fans. And also, check my other videos as you wait for the next one to come out. Um, also, if... <clears throat> it really is going out. Okay. Um, also, um, it, I sometimes re-vlog a few things on Walking Dead on my Tumblr. So if you want, um, go check that out. Um, and I guess that's it. So until next Sunday, um, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. This is Mel saying bye for now.